Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My internet connection's been pretty stable recently. I had to do a lot of tinkering in order to get that to work uh, with a stable connection as I was uh, gaming on the PlayStation 4. What ended up working for me best personally was my router has a dual radio band, so it runs on 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz frequency bands. And I found that setting it up uh, to do only one frequency or the other was the best thing for my PlayStation 4 and my online gaming experience so far. But I noticed uh, after I made that video, a lot of people down in the comments below mentioned uh, how changing the DNS server setting uh, worked for them really well. They encouraged a lot of people to try it. Today's video, I wanna show you how to do that and side by side, I wanna experiment along with you to see if it also helps my connection. If you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can always stay up to date on my latest videos. Let's get right into it. Okay, so in order to change your DNS uh, server setting, you have to go up to the uh, settings over here on the right. And then you wanna go down to where it says network and then you're gonna to wanna to start setting up your internet connection. For this case, we're gonna use a Wi-Fi connection because that's what I'm currently using now. Um, and you wanna go down to where it says custom. And then most of this stuff you wanna do automatic except when it arrives in the DNS setting, which you'll see in a second. And then you wanna jump down to where it says manual. So automatic for this one. Uh, do not specify. And then see where it says DNS saying, now you want to create a manual one. So this is where the experiment comes into play. There are a couple free popular uh, DNS servers. Um, I want to say real quick, so what is a DNS server? So a DNS server, and when you change it, actually uh, rewrites the book on where your PlayStation 4 looks for the actual physical gaming server so that it assesses the, the strength of connection and the speed to connection when you play with other players on online gaming. Um, and that's why uh, changing the DNS could have either a small impact or a very large impact depending on a lot of factors such as like how far the server is away from you from where your PlayStation 4 currently is at or how fast it's connecting to it. So let's get right into it. I'll show you the couple DNS server numbers so that you can plug them in and see for yourself. And then we'll run some tests to see how uh, quick the connection is. The first one I wanna talk about is the, uh, the Google DNS is what it's called. And for that, it's pretty easy to remember. So it's 8.8.8. Uh, .8 .8 dot eight for the primary and then for the secondary all it is is eight dot eight dot four dot four and don't worry when you do this and say we test it later and the results turn horribly compared to what you had before don't worry too much about it because you can always just go back to uh, reset up your internet connection with the auto DNS, which is actually so far for me uh, from the internet service provider, which is so far what works for me best. Hit next. Uh, MTU, you wanna do automatic. Proxy, uh, do not use. And so there you are, your internet settings are updated and you wanna run the internet, uh, the test connection uh, at least twice just to get a, a good reading on your average where you're about where you're at but one more thing I also want to point to is it's really not just the numbers on paper or TV I should say that uh, is important for the online gaming experience it's really oh that's a good one I start so I started at 27 but uh, or actually less than that. I think it was 21 so that actually helped me quite a bit but it's really it's really not just the numbers on on the screen that that matter the most it's really especially like call like playing Call of Duty or a very competitive, fast-paced online game. You want to make sure that that internet connection is stable, has extremely low lag, and it doesn't judder your picture so that you don't get like so like at 30 megabytes a second. Anything over 10 is really fine. And then at that point what I'd be more concerned about is uh you know like you're you're smoothly playing the game and then all of a sudden like it just stops and then it, it picks back up again and it just stops. So that's, you don't wanna run into that or worst case is that you just have so much ping on your, your current, the way your uh, internet connection is set up 
that it just creates constant stops and goes, like constantly stop and go, stop and go, which actually happened to me, but I finally fixed it and it's running a lot smoother now. So Google actually worked really well for me. So I'm on the Midwest part of the United States. Um, try this one out and see if it works for you. Uh, let's go back one more time. So I just pushed the back button and then went to set up internet connection. So let's do one more that's really popular too. Um, custom. You wanna do automatic for IP. And so for this one, oh, sorry, do not specify. So for this one, this one's also pretty easy to remember. So it's uh, cloud flares. Um, and this one is just one dot one dot one dot one and then the secondary also very easy to remember one dot zero dot zero dot one and what's cool about that is now you're testing out these different uh, name servers and so you kind of get to uh, you have fun and you get to test each one to see not only how fast your actual connection is but also the ping that that provides and the smoothness of your online gaming experience and you should also test that out against certain games uh, not just first person shooters like cod but also other games like gran turismo for driving or massive uh, multiplayer online experiences rpgs such as that so you really want to give it a full breadth of a test before you you really decide and say you know this is the this this DNS works for me this is working you know um, automatic again do not use again and then let's run it one more test um, and see how it works for my system now of course the results will vary for your system uh, also not just you know what's on your system all that and how it operates but also where you're located in the world it will depend on that as well. Okay, so this one was a little slower. I could keep running tests, uh, which I recommend you guys do, uh, to see if this number goes up or down. And then I would actually make like a, like a spreadsheet if you want to and, and just get a rough average of all the numbers that you get. But I, I recommend uh, trying out those two because they're the most popular uh, ga gaming DNS servers, uh, which is Google, once again, it's Google and Cloudflare. I recommend you guys try those out first. Uh, before you kind of venture out and try like the smaller ones um, and you you may just see that your internet connection improves that much more for your gaming experience and that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest videos i'll see you guys in the next one